Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives are uh, still working on engineering science N3, so we shall actually have uh, a continuation from the other part that we worked on, uh, still remember, we had classes that we worked on uh, motion, power and energy from uh, past exam papers, so we shall have a continuation so that we see how they actually ask these questions so that we prepare ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time. So definitely if you are new guys and uh, part of, you want to be part of the family mess on African motives, you can consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of the classes that we shall be having actually on a daily or on a platform that we shall be having. Uh, so in this case, um, we have a question which is on one point, uh, on question one there, and we've got a 15 marks guys for this question that we are having a total of 15 marks there. All right. We are given 1.1 that a body with a mass of 20 kg accelerates uniformly in a straight line according to the law v is equal to 10 minus 2t where v is the final velocity after t in seconds so the t is in seconds all right so this is it guys um we are given uh an expression that we are going to actually use to determine the velocity at any time the velocity at any time so actually if we are to cross check here because of a negative part that we are given this is not uh, accelerating in the it, it's in this way it's going in a negative direction because of this that we have given so actually this is something like this guys what is happening this thing is uh, moving from the a certain velocity and it is actually decelerating like this because of the negative that we are seeing here so that is the condition of what is happening where we know that we have got velocity here in meters per second and here we've got the time in seconds so I want you to i want us to interpret this now the first question is calculate the initial velocity of the body so the initial velocity is on a condition where t is equal to zero that's your initial velocity when t is equal to zero so when t is equal to zero, what are you going to have simply substituting here so as you can see v is going to 10 minus 2 times 0 there which is what which is a 10 so that is going to be your initial velocity now you write it as u because you know that u represents what initial velocity so which means this object started at 10 meters per second like this and it's decreasing in terms of its speed because of a negative okay then 1.12 the acceleration of the body okay so where are we going to have our acceleration we know that um v can be written uh, from your formula sheet guys v is equal to u plus like this it's plus a t this is v is equal to u plus a t now we are given that v is equal to 10 minus 2 t like this are we sensing something this is your u yours 10 you could have just taken from it t and t your a in this case here there is a plus a so this plus a is equal to minus 2 so which means a remember a represents acceleration so this is a which is equal to minus 2 this is your a here which is minus 2 meters per square second so you can take this from the formula that you are given okay that's v that's a minus 2 something like that okay and another part um, we are given uh, to calculate the initial momentum initial which means at a velocity of 10 meters because this is our initial velocity and we know that uh, momentum is equivalent to the product of mass and the velocity so this is going to be the initial velocity okay so the mass of the object remember this object has got a mass of 20 kgs okay we didn't list out this but it has got a mass of 20 kgs here so the mass of the object guys is 20 kgs okay so so now mass times velocity that's mass of 20 times the velocity 
the velocity at initial which is 10 so you're going to multiply by 10 so that's 20 times 10 uh, these are kgs and this is meter per second so it's going to be 200 kg uh, meter per second like this so that's your uh, change in momentum initially uh, when the object started uh, to move uh, when our velocity was at 10 so that was the consideration there all right then another part we are asked to calculate the kinetic the kinetic energy after four seconds and we've got three marks for that to calculate this kinetic energy after four seconds okay so i want you to note guys that uh, there's something here that we have all right we actually know that the kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv squared that's our kinetic energy the mass is there but we do not have the velocity so we are going to find the velocity where are we going to find the velocity remember it's the kinetic energy after a time of four seconds and we said we can obtain v is the final velocity after t so which means after a given time you can find the velocity from this expression here so when you when you're given a time of four what is going to be your velocity it means you're going to substitute into this formula so what is our velocity so remember v is equal to 10 minus 2t so our v is going to be 10 minus 2 times t what is the time after 4 seconds so we're going to substitute 4 here so your velocity is going to be 4 you're going to obtain is it 4 this is 4 then it's going to be 2 which is a uh, 8 there so it's uh, something like 2 meters per second okay so this is your velocity after four seconds so if this is our velocity and this is what we need here so therefore our kinetic energy is going to be half mv squared which is mass we said our mass is 20 kgs times v squared this is our velocity which is 2 squared all right so this can be simplified from your calculator which is going to give you 40 joules so remember kinetic energy this is energy guys it's measured in joules like that so that's your 1.14 which was the kinetic energy so are you seeing this relationship guys it's that it's very very important for you to know this relationship okay another part is the distance traveled after three seconds okay so after three seconds what is the distance traveled so what do we have still we've got the same thing just like the previous part here uh this is what 1.14 1.15 here yeah. so we've got the same thing which is uh from this concept here uh the velocity still our velocity is there which is um 10 minus what 10 minus 2t so our v is 10 minus 2t so what can we obtain from this velocity since we are given that after t seconds so that means when t is equal to 3 our velocity is going to be 10 minus 2 times 3 which is uh, something like 4 there so this is what you're going to obtain as your velocity but we need the distance so we can list out the information here guys there are two options that you can do remember this is where if you are to cross check this is what happens guys initially here our velocity was 10 and the acceleration is minus 2 so we can just take this information down uh, maybe it can help us the initial velocity does not change it's going to remain as it is no matter what is going to happen the initial velocity was always at what was at 10 now this is now representing as the final velocity because this is velocity after a certain time so this is now acting as your final velocity for that moment so this is four meters per second are you seeing that it's decreasing this one that is why i told you that because of the negative it's decreasing it was from 10 it went to a certain until it decreases something like that okay and the acceleration also does not change our acceleration was minus two meters per square second like this so what am i going to do now to find because well, that's the only information that i'm given u v and uh, also t because we calculated 
this velocity when our t was equal to 3 so also i have got t there t is, which is 3 seconds so from your formula sheet there is this formula for displacement which is s is equal to ut plus half a t squared if you are to take note of this formula all right so you're going to use this one to determine the distance which is actually the uh, the one that is the distance so we've got u t u here is 10 so that's 10 by t which is 3 so it's 10 by 3 just put it in a bracket okay plus half of a okay your a is a negative 2 you're going to write as it is times negative 2 times t squared your t is 3 so it's going to be times 3 squared like this you put this in a bracket like this all right, so this is what you're going to obtain, guys. Here, you are going to obtain 30 plus here, you are going to obtain minus 9. This is what you're going to obtain. So it's now 30 plus minus 9, which is going to give you 21 meters. So that was the distance which was traveled there. Or oh, another option was this, guys. Remember that the distance traveled is actually uh, equal to area under the graph. So this is what I was going to do. Remember, this is the distance after 3 seconds. And after 3 seconds, we can just assume that this is 3 seconds here. And we said after 3 seconds, our velocity, we calculated our velocity. We said our velocity is 4. So we're going to do this. At 3 seconds, this one is going to correspond with 4 here. So remember that this distance is area under the graph. So we're going to calculate the area here. So you've got area of a trapezium or area of a rectangle. This is a rectangle here on top and this is a, I mean, a triangle on top. We've got a triangle here and we've got a rectangle. So calculate the two areas, you combine them. So that's a half base here, the base from zero to three, that's three times the height. The height is the difference between four and 10. So 10 minus four that's a six so plus the area of a rectangle which is four by three four by three which is twelve okay so you're going to obtain nine plus twelve which is going to give you 21 meters all right so as you can see we are obtaining the same uh distance uh just like the one that we used uh using these formulas uh, using this formula here so it's one and the same thing actually guys as you can see so that's how they can ask this question and so forth okay then let's quickly rush to another question ask to rewrite rewrite the law v is equal to 10 minus 2t in the form s is equal to now it's supposed to be s is equal to like that so how do i do this guys okay we are to rewrite this is one point uh this is also actually 1.16 v is equal to 10 minus 2t and we are given that s is equal to ut plus half a t squared this is what we are given there sorry the dogs are waking up now so if you are to cross check here remember I said this is u this is your a so you are just substituting here in place of u is 10 so it's going to be 10 t plus half of a your a is minus two so it's going to be minus two t squared that is what they mean guys okay so it's going to be 10 t a you multiply half of minus two which is going to be minus one so it's going to be something like this so easy guys as you can see okay then let's see another part here so these are actually some of the questions that they will be actually testing you how to connect the dots here from the formulas that you'll be given how can you connect uh, the information that you have okay anyways let's see another one that we have there we're given that a driving pulley rotates at um, three revs per second and the diameter is 0 0.3 meters the pulley exerts a force of 2000 newton at a point of its uh, periphery okay so we are given a 1.2 that is uh the speed that is uh it actually rotates which is rest per second uh which is three revs per second and we're given the diameter which is 0 
meters we are given the force which is exerted by the full the, the pulley there which is a uh, 2000 newtons all right so, but we know that this is supposed to be okay the diameter we can obtain the radius there remember radius is diameter over 2 so 0 0.3 over 2 which is going to give you 0 0.15 something like that so you're going to obtain 0 0.15 and then what are we given to calculate the turning moment which is the torque so remember torque is force times the radius the perpendicular distance okay so that's 1.21 here which is torque is force times the radius which is the perpendicular distance that's 2000 times 0 0.15 all right so this one it's in newton and this one it's in meter so it's going to be newton meter there so if you multiply you're going to obtain 300 newton meter okay this is not per meter but it's newton meter like that all right then we've got the power so take note guys you're have, have given speed and you want to calculate power this power it's not only power but it's in kilowatts also this power is supposed to be in kilowatts like that okay so uh, this is gonna be 1.22 which is power remember the formula for power that is 2 pi nt so it's just a matter of substituting into the formula here the n is there which is 3 refs per second it's supposed to be in refs per second is fine then times the torque that we are given we are given the torque of uh, 300 in this case so this is 300 so if we combine you're going to obtain 1000 pi okay which is 5654,867 uh, something like that okay but this is supposed to be in kilowatts guys so divide by 1000 is going to be 5,65 and this is going to change into 5 kilo was like that okay so that's it guys on this uh platform uh that we had um working on uh, uh questions that we are giving on motion power and energy so we shall have another platform that we shall actually work on this more questions to come uh so that we see how they actually ask these questions for Mason african motives till we meet again